the day that Donnie got electrocuted, I had been to Lake Charles. Uh, I had gone to the doctor. And uh, while I was down there, I fell and I hurt my ankle real bad. So when I got home, my husband, he had to come help me in the house. And so they were trying to hook up an air conditioner. And uh, so I, I was in the house with my foot propped up in a recliner. And uh, they were outside uh, hooking up his air conditioner. It was Brother Blair and Brother Richard Radcliffe and my husband. And uh, so I had bought the children some water guns. It was in July. And they were uh, filling it up under the mobile home at this faucet and then that run shoot each other playing with it and uh, so uh, anyway when they turned the the electricity on well they had grounded the ground wire to the mobile home and not knowing it so Donnie was under there uh, had his hand on the faucet filled up the water gun his little water pistol and uh, so while he was down there uh, filling up his water gun, that charge, when they turned that, uh, the electricity on, that charge went through Donnie. And he screamed. And his dad looked and saw him, and he, and he, he realized what happened. He said, turn it off. So they did. But it was too late. And so they went over there and tried to help him. And uh, but they couldn't get help him, and they they did everything uh, to you know try to bring him back to make him regain consciousness, but he he couldn't do it. So I couldn't hear what they were saying, but finally they did everything they could back there. So they he they moved him around to the front yard, in the front. And, and they laid him out on the ground. And I could hear the stress in their voices. And uh, I just forgot all about myself. I just knew something had happened. So I jumped up and ran out there. And I said, what happened? And they started telling me. Well, I, I, I got down there on the ground by Donnie. And my husband was trying to... Uh, un Put, trying to unblock his teeth but they were frozen together and and the muscles in his leg was just real hard and uh, I realized he was gone and then I just got down on the ground before the Lord is put my head down on the ground I started praying and uh, I told the Lord, I said, uh, you know, we're doing everything we know to live for you. And when I said that, I remembered what Brother Branham had said on the tape. I had just heard about two weeks before that. And Brother Branham had said, said, if there's nothing, not anything standing between you and the Lord, you can ask what you will and he'll give it to you. And when I when that came back to my mind, I raised up and I turned around and I asked Brother Blair, I said, have y'all prayed? And he said, no. And uh, I said, well, pray. And I had my hand on Donnie's leg. And he just, and he, and he had these two red things in his cheeks. And uh, he just prayed a simple prayer. And instantly the Lord brought him back. He just said, mm, when the breath came back in his body. And those two red things in his cheeks, they went away. And the leg, his muscles in his leg got soft again. I was so happy. But if I hadn't heard that message and knew what he said, but see, the Lord knew. And that's why he knew all this would take place. And he knew what I would do before this ever happened. And uh, I believe the Lord prepared everything 
beforehand. And uh, and when the Holy Spirit came down and brought him back, I didn't know it, but he healed my foot and ankle and everything. But I was just interested in him. He was <laughs> he was soaking wet. So I I said, well, son, I said the Lord's done something wonderful for you, and you could feel the Holy Spirit around there. It was so wonderful. And uh, so I said, well, come on, Mother, take you in here and we'll change your clothes. And it wasn't till later, I don't know when, but I realized my foot was healed too. I just didn't know it. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, Brother Blair, uh, it was just a miracle. And so uh, Brother Blair, and Sister Blair was over to church uh, playing the piano organ, I forgot which one. And when Brother Blair went over to the church, he was just walking around and around in there with his hands up praising the Lord. And she said, what happened? He started telling her. And uh, Donnie was just seven years old. And uh, so later on, we heard that Brother Branham was going to be in Jeffersonville. And we left and we went, we got to go and be in those services. I'm glad to see Brother Richard Blair sitting here. Just read a letter of a great thing that God did among the people there. The other day, as I understand, I may be wrong, Brother Blair, if I am, correct me. Uh, he was working, helping a man wire a trailer or something, I believe it was. I read the letter, and they reversed something, and however it run the current into a water where a little boy was one of the... Uh, the man that the trailer belonged to, his little boy, just a little lad, and it killed the little boy. And uh, his stomach swollen, we know, electrical shock, that's when they die, that's what happens. The little eyes set, his teeth went together. It alarmed the brethren so bad, Brother Blair said he thought he could get a hold of me somewhere to pray for it, but remembered that it was that Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And the father skinned his fingers, trying to get his fingers in the little boy's mouth to break it open. And they knelt down and started praying over the little boy, and he come back to life again. And he, was that true, Brother Blair? One of our loyal brothers here? Oh, the little boy's here. Well, thank the Lord. That's fine. We'd like for you to stand up, sonny boy. Now, we thank the dear Lord for this. Is that the father of the little boy? Are you the father? That's right. And here's Brother Richard Blair. Our God is able to do anything. Yes, sir. He promised it. We are living in the divine presence of the great, glorious, heavenly Father. And all things that we are possible, if we can just believe it, you see what that does? What it paid off for that man's life to believe that? Saved his little boy. Uh, God had his loyal servants there, to Brother Blair and them, to pray for the little boy when he's in that condition. Yes, when anything happens, remember you are children of the living God. Wherever two or more are gathered in my name, there I am. And again it's written, he's a very present help in time of trouble. And if there ever was trouble, was that little boy laying there dead on the ground from a shock of electricity it went through him. So we're thanking God this morning with all of our hearts for these, for these things that he has done for us. God bless these faithful men too. In a time of emergency, that's the time to look to God and look to him and be on friendship with him before the emergency arise. We know this, if we have favor with God, we can ask him anything like you would any other friend, and he is a very present help in time of trouble.